Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. Okay, so earlier today I was at 390 some and this beautiful blessed soul reminded me to look at the numbers and I did. And um, yeah, so um, I am so honored to share this time, this space, this energy, this lifetime with you. And um, this, uh, yeah, um, this is new to me. So um, just stepping out onto this platform was huge for me to begin with. Scorpio Stellium, we tend to not like the spotlight so much. But um, I was gifted a really cool opportunity from another person in this community, uh, Rich Lop is his name, to be interviewed for a, a spiritual awakening experience that I had had. And I was like, yeah, maybe you should start sharing this with people. Maybe instead of just keeping this to yourself, maybe... Maybe I could help some people. And the fact that like 400 of you were like, yeah, I would like to see more of this is really overwhelming. And I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I'm just really touched and I'm honored and I'm grateful. So thank you so much. And um, every time I hit a hundy mark, I try to do some sort of... Um, advice in my <laughs> my puppers is like me mom i'm okay baby it's all right it's happy okay so i'm gonna talk about probiotics today i i keep doing that i keep being like hey would you like to see the wood but backwards and upside down and <laughs> So I'm going to talk about these things today, um, probiotics, because I think I mentioned that either in my 200 or my 300. Yes, be sweet. I'm okay. See, I'm okay. You're a sweet little girl. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. I'll be skinny, boo. Okay, there we go. You ready? Come here. I had to lower it so you won't be crushed under the table, be skinny. Okay. Oh, you can't. There he is. You can see the top of his head, but I don't want to like. Not a whole lot of room back here, so I don't want to squish him up with the table. So, holistic channel. Dun, dun, dun. That's okay. I like my vetting processes, <laughs> they're really effective. So, if you don't like that word, I'm really sorry. Um, but, uh, we are made of body, mind, spirit, and all that beautiful stuff. So taking care of all of them is really important, right? So it's more than just a, um, a spiritual divination stuff that I can offer. So why not? Why not, right? Now, I'm not a medical professional. Ah, full disclosure. Not. I just I did my human homework. I am in classes, but I am not registered on anything. I did manage a vitamin section for a hot minute and I too went in there thinking hey I know some stuff about this and then you know as per protocol you think you know and then you really don't know okay so if any of you have taken antibiotics you're you know that or maybe you don't know your whole entire system gets cleared of all biotics, not just the bad ones, but all of them. I'm like ASMR by default over here. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. This is going to get you back on track because. John, John, John. We are. Sorry. What's up, boo? Say hi. Oh, we got a woo. It's all comfortable. Okay. So, we are like the tree of life. This is the brain. This is the gut. And this is all the in-betweens, right? The esophagus and all that other good stuff. The spinal cord. All that mixed in. And it's sending nutrients to and fro. Okay? 
neurons and whatnot are going down the spinal cord. All the things are going up through the spinal cord to the brain, blah, 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 right? So all this beautifulness is going on, but between our brain and our gut is a direct connect. And if we clear out our gut of all the yum yum biotics, right? The probiotics, the good ones. Uh, this tends to be a little, okay. Um, and oftentimes it happens when you're sick, right? So you don't even notice. You just, your body feels better all of a sudden. You don't have the physical symptoms of having some bacterial infection. So you think you're good because you feel better in your body. But you're not realizing that sometimes this can get a little out of whack if you don't put some probiotics back in it, okay? Now, if you don't believe this is true, it's probably not going to be true for you. But I found that it works. I function better when I take these after I get on them. I haven't been on them in years. But if I feel loopy in my head, like I feel like I'm not getting enough of this in my regular diet, I will take them. Now, you think, <laughs> so if your doctor should mention this to you, and I've had, I've have had doctors say, okay, after this, you need to go on some probiotics. And uh, I've heard some doctors say that, and I've heard other doctors not say that. So it kind of depends, I guess. Um, I think it's becoming more of a thing where it's common knowledge, but don't quote me on that. So, hang on. So when we have a idea, concept, or whatever of using these, usually it's just a go to the store, pick one, any one, and off you go. Unfortunately, the vitamin community is banking on that. And that's the unfortunate part, right? What do you, you know, you're just taking the doctor's word for it. So if it says five hundred or 5,000 or 5 billion or 10 billion, you're not going to know. Like, I didn't know. I took the lowest amount because I'm like, I'm not paying freaking that much money for this when I just need to replenish this and be on with my life. That's what I thought. When you don't know, you don't know. So. Travesty. 30 billion is the minimum for a difference to be made. You don't actually physically, mentally start really noticing it until you get to 50. Okay. Brain power. Okay. You do notice it. You really, really notice it. So after you're done getting sick, your body feels good and you think you're on which I call it, and you're just grateful to not be sick anymore that you don't notice it, right? Like every other human on the planet. So, when you can start registering your body and how it's working and notice the difference, that's an important place to be. That's why holistic medicine is not a bad not a bad concept because we're more than just our bodies, we're more than just our spirit, and we're more than just our minds, right? So, 50 billion or more. Then comes the other lovely little fact. If you don't have pro or prebiotics when you take your probiotics in your system, there's nothing keeping the probiotics there. They need something to feed off of which would be a prebiotic, okay? They need some, a little something, something to nibble on so they can establish themselves in your gut system and stay, okay? So, what are you talking about prebiotics? Ready? I'm gonna give you a list, but you can go look it up. I'll try to find you a link with a lot of them. So onions, garlic, asparagus, legumes, spinach, those things. Um, I think there's a few more things. Broccoli. I'm probably forgetting one or two things or maybe more. Those are all really good prebiotics. Okay. Um, 
and I, I don't know if I have time to go into the, all that because I want to do a quick little reedy read for the lovely energy we have going on tonight. So, then the next problem. Wow, you thought we were finished. Yeah, prebiotics and more than 30, Bill. Got it. Good. No. So, you take it in the morning, right? You're going to ingest some garlic, broccoli, legumes, onions in the morning. How about a nice, tasty sprig of asparagus? Start your day off right. I personally love asparagus, but I'm a freak. So, uh, I'm not even getting paid. Oh, can you even do that on YouTube? Fucking A. Okay. All right. So, this might get demonetized or taken down or something because, anyway, this I'm sure there's more brands out there than this, and you can't read backwards anyway. So, <laughs> okay. So there is what is called, um, and then there's strands of bacteria too, by the way. So there's ones that are specific to men, women, children, people over the age of 50 and whatever else, because your body has different mechanisms at work to it, and it does very much affect the biotics in your body. Um, so depending on what stage of life you're at and what kind of uh, you know, regimen you're on when it comes to, and again, always consult your doctor, always consult your doctor before you go on anything. Although I don't think you're going to find too many doctors that are being like, no, this is a terrible idea. Um, I mean, unless there's something really wrong with your gut system, then halt the phone. Okay. So an energetic shield is I don't know. I should have got my freaking. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get you a picture here. So, in this beautiful little gut system down here, esophagus thingy. Okay. Close, close, close. Really close. No dice yet, huh? So, oh, that's blood supply to the stomach. Okay, small intestine. Okay. So this... Can you show this on YouTube? Son of a monkey butt nugget. Okay. So, <laughs> guess I should have read all that little fine print that I just... Okay. Hmm. All right. Layman's terms it is. It's a little... There's a... Okay. So it gets to, right, the end of your stomach, right? And it has just a little teeny tiny tube. And then there's a little, there's a little sac right before the food or the pill, whatever, enters into your intestine for a breakdown, okay? And this is where things kind of go in between, like, getting absorbed into your bloodstream or not. And so this internetic field shield is going to slowly release the probiotics into your system. Now this particular brand has the prebiotics already in it. So both are gonna be released at the same time. So these things are gonna be allowed to stay in your system longer. But this is gonna be a slow release throughout the day rather than a jolt in the morning and then it flushes through your system. This takes about four hours for everything to, or it's supposed to typically on average okay so that's happening so usually it just gets flushed out within like the first three to four hours of you taking it this has an energetic shield on it that just slowly release it's like um uh, i have slow release medications all over the place and what's keeping them slow is called the energetic shield so it just stays in that little sack in between the stomach hose and your intestine hose. Okay? Esophagus. I hope this makes sense. Okay. So, 
Yeah, sorry, I'm not going to show you pictures because I'm like, I don't know if that's going to be offensive to people on the internet. Because um, me personally, I don't like the sight of blood. I don't like it. Not my gag. I don't even like it when I get blood drawn. I can't look at it. Um, so, <laughs> fun facts. What are you studying medicine for? Because I'm fascinated, Dawn. So, remember your tree. Treat it well, okay? Take care of it. Honor it. It is part of who you are. Part of um, honoring this lifetime, okay? Also, earthing. Earthing. Getting, um, there's a good book. I'm gonna <laughs> be ski. I'm gonna take a look at that. Do I got that in? Ready for it? No, huh? Okay, fine. I don't have to. <laughs> okay. So, earthing. This is a really good book. It's by Clinton Ober, Stephen T. Sinatra, MD, and Martin Zucker. So, um, this is the same author, or forward by James L. Oshman, PhD, author of Energy Medicine, the Scientific Basis. So, that's another good book. Um, I think I reposted some, um, Anthony, oh, I'm going to get his name wrong. The guy who interviews all those different people with really cool perspectives and stuff. So barefoot on the ground, not the asphalt or the cement, or even in your house. I go barefoot all day. And most of the time, some days I'm like, this is too cold and I need some slippers. But most of the time I'm barefoot and it's good for your body. It's good for everything. It's really good for you. Pretty Woman called it coppice foot, I think is what she called it. It's where you walk barefoot in the grass. NASA did a study on that, what they call it um, sun gazing, where you stand barefoot in a patch of dirt, earth, whatever you want to call it, or sand, um, and gaze at the sun an hour after, between sunrise and an hour after, and then sun, uh, an hour before sunset. Um, NASA did a study on it. Um, go look at NASA. I don't know if they still have it up. I looked that up years ago. But because uh, why wouldn't you peruse NASA's website? Like a fucking kook. Okay, let's get a read. Let's get a read for the collective. I want to. I want to see because I'm curious to see. What's happening for you guys today, tonight, tomorrow? Boom. Moon. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Ooh, Ten of Wands. Six of Cups. Four of Swords. The High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles. Judgment in Reverse. Okay. Collective. This is amazing, amazing energy. Dang out, hang out, I don't know. Minus the Ten of Wands, but hey. With great love comes great responsibility, right? Right. But there's equal give and take here. Okay. And I don't know if this is in your subconscious because there's the Queen of Pentacles here, which is very much physical, but then you've got the High Priestess. So. Maybe together. Subconscious meeting the physical. Ugh. That's very nice. And then you're meditating on the past right now. Holding off judgment. I don't know. This feels like a huge blessing coming in rather than judgment in reverse. These are nice cards, guys. Good energy.
King of Cups. Hang on. Okay, Seven of Cups. Okay. So this is like your multi-layered here. This is what's happening in the mental. This is happening in the subconscious physical level. Like you're bringing your intuition to light here. Like you're using it. Like I get this is your better judgment. You're stepping into better judgment. Heck yeah. And even though it's a lie, it's... Even though it's a lot, it's still beautiful. These are tulips. Tulips are the universal symbol for beauty. And she's got roses in there. She's got impatience in there. Impatience, impatience. She does have a tulip in there. And she's got yellow roses, a pink rose. That looks like a tea rose. I think that might be like an English rose. They, we, I think we, we tried bringing them over here, and um, they are tricky to grow, but they are phenomenal roses. Those are straw flowers too, and then interesting foliage. But she doesn't. She's like itching her knee. I don't know if you can see that. It's like she's been on her knees and she's like, oh, you know, okay, maybe you don't know. But like if you're like kneeling down to like, you know, pull some weeds or being a weird person on your bare knees in the garden, do, you know, planting some seeds or transferring sprouts or whatever the heck it is. And like something gets stuck on your knee and you got to itch it. Or if you get a mosquito bite. But she's... She's got this tulip that she's either about to pluck or she's leaning on. Like this might be something that's helping her walk. I'm not sure here. And her skirt is weird. Like, it's not sitting right. Her skirt is, like, too stiff or something. I don't know. But look at this energy. Look at all the little fishies down there. Ah, ah. That's so sweet. And the rainbow. Okay. So, it might be too much at some point. It might feel like too much, but it's... I get there's, like, an equal give and take here. There's an equal... Yeah, it might be a lot, but there's reprieve here. There's some sort of... What do you call it? Not reprieve. Some sort of... Really unique agreement. Because he, she looks like she's, that does, that's not octopus. She's like a, 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 like a, she's a safe haven for the fish. She's like seaweed bottom. She's not an octopus on the bottom. And he's got like a fish. That is, looks like um, one of those non-dangerous sharks with the mouth on the bottom. Dang it, I can't remember what it's called. Sorry. But he's, it's, it's a type of shark. It's that navy blue color with all the spots on it. Not a stingray, a shark. But it's a not, it's not like a jaw shark. Interesting. She's got all those little fishies and all of her little seaweed. Seaweed's really good for you, too. Ah, that's another prebiotic. I don't know. It's good for you. It's good for you. Okay. This is balance here. Oh, 
I love this card. It's so cool. And like, there's a little, there's a little dude standing up here. It is, he's like a little fireman. He's got a little, oh, the camera on this talks. It's like a little white hat backwards. It's like an old fashioned fireman. And there's moths on this tea kettle here. Go towards the light. And there's little birds on their cups. I'm really getting into this now. <gasps> Ooh. Cherry blossoms. I'm not sure what this this particular flower is. This is really good energy. Yay. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like I need to clarify it. I think you're going to be okay, collectors. I think you're being more than okay with this. Might be some transitional hiccups here, but if there's not hiccups, how are you going to learn anything? Are you going to remember how this process is supposed to go? If there's not a few like, oops, I need to adjust my energy. Nine of Pentacles. And she's got a little birdie in her hand. And her crown has got pentacles in it. And she's growing little. I'm not sure what these are. They kind of have the appearance of roses, but not really. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So, thank you so much for your time, attention, and energy. I am grateful seems like such a lame word at this point. I don't know, maybe I'll dig around in my thesaurus and find a, a more suiting word to express how I feel. But um, thank you so much. I hope this new moon energy blesses you along with the uh, lovely little Mars in retrograde. Breathe deep. Stay calm. Love yourself. If you can't love others, you can respect them. I believe that's true. You can get frustrated. You know, that's what pillows are for. That person was a jerk to me today. Even if it's just to your pillow. You can talk to your dog about it too. I do. Yoda's like, he just stands there and looks at me like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, you know, you have your little get-togethers with people that you can trust. Even if it's a small group, it's still, it's better than, you know, and if you don't have a group of people, I've been there, done that, been there, done that, where you just keep your head down, go to work, and get the shit done, and yada, yada, yada. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. And there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay? The universe wants you to get in touch with your inner self and to find that authenticity button so that you can find people that are actually going to have your best interests at heart, that are actually going to listen to what you have to say, that are actually going to care for you. So you can experience that firsthand rather than having to read about it or hear about it or whatever on some weird Instagram post that probably isn't all that honest. So don't be afraid of that. Don't let that terrify you. Don't let society shame you and say, if you don't have friends, you suck. That's not true. You're supposed to be finding your authentic self. So that way, you know exactly where you want to go, exactly what kind of choices you want to make, and exactly what kind of energies and people you want to allow in your life. That's what the alone time is for. So there's no shame in that. There's no blame in that. Uh, this that needs to stop on every single level of existence, okay? And if you feel comfortable in hermit mode, as long as you're not, like, driving yourself mentally insane and you're keeping yourself, like, balanced out and you feel happy and content there, well, yeah, I do encourage you to step out of your safety comfort zone eventually as long as you feel safe and secure in your own body in doing so there's nothing wrong with that and if you need to take some time to get there then take some time to get there 
there's no right or wrong timeline, okay? So starting holding space for different ways of existing, different modalities of living people's lives, okay? I think this is going to be the year where we see a lot of really amazing, amazing ideas and creative energies um, coming up with solutions to problems that are actually going to work. Coming with ideas that are most likely mixing the really old, really, really old with the new. That's just my prediction, but that's what happens when we put people in lockdown. They get smart. They have time to think. They have time to process. So, silver linings, kids, silver linings. Okay. I love you. I'm honored to have you here. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Keep your flame.